We know that Kenyans are the funniest and most opinionated people in the world. And one place that this is really showcased is on Twitter. Thus getting our own slot and being dubbed KOT. This show highlights to you what's trendworthy and what's trashworthy on the Twitter sphere. I'm Horio. I'm Ash. I'm DK. And I'm Chris M. And this is Kenyans on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> so for those of you who are not quite Twitter savvy, mm -hmm. trending topics are the most talked about subjects, conversations in that moment or that hour. And thus getting itself on the top trending list and on our radar. Yes. In addition to looking at the top trending topics each week, we will also have a new segment we call Battle of the... Tweets! Where each person has two minutes to convince us why they think their topics or tweets are trendworthy. And then we get to vote whether it is indeed... Guys, are you ready? Mm -hmm. One second. <laughs> whether it is indeed trendworthy or... Trashworthy. Yes. <laughs> Can I really smell it? <laughs> but here's the fun part. Carry on, baby. Tell us. But here is the fun part. As our viewers, you have the power to veto us in the comment section and on our polls on Twitter. The power is in your hand. Yes. So guys, let's keep it rolling. We start with the ladies. Okay. Yes, yes. The first trending topic. Mm. First trending topic. I think it's mine, but mm. I'm really loving this energy. So I think let's keep the energy, even mm. despite the fact that our topic is slightly somber. Yes. Mm. So our first trending topic this week is Bob Collymore. Yeah. And it's a somber note because, unfortunately, our titan and a man who left a legacy in this country yes. passed away on Monday. However, mm. the reason why I want to keep it super positive is yes. that he was a man of the people. Really he was. was truly a Kenyan. Mm. The context of this is the fact that as much as he was not born a Kenyan, he took on a Kenyan wife, he took on Kenyan citizenship, and he became one of us. Yes. And I think the reason why, personally, I think this is the most trendworthy topic for yeah. this week, and I know I have the timer on me, <laughs> is because first and foremost, um, he just was always, I think there's a picture that's going to come up on the screen mm. of where he was even a matatu tout one day, he was <laughs> always taking <laughs> a makanga, <laughs> yes, he was always taking selfies with people, and he was literally that he man. He was a people's person. He could be with yes. President Kenyatta one day, the next day he's with the orphans, he's in Kibera. He is one of us, a true Kenyan spirit. Yes. What do you guys think? So I agree with you 100%. First mm -hmm. off, he did great things for Safaricom. And if I can read a tweet right now, um, this is by Room Thinker. He says, my takeaway from all the Bob Collymore tributes is a stark reminder. The biggest measure of your life success is not the things you do or what you were. It is the lives you touched, even in the simplest of ways, mm -hmm. that will live long after you are gone. And as you were mentioning, I think he did amazing things for the people of Kenya. He mm -hmm. was one of us, and he will always be remembered by all of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think just to back that up, I'll say a quote by Bob Collingwell well, himself that yeah. he said my purpose is to help as many people as I can and to do the right thing and uh, genuinely I feel like that is who he was. My takeaway from Bob mm -hmm. is uh, you know some people you can wear designer clothes and you look cheap so, and someone will wear a mutumba cloth and look expensive. Yeah. Some people die we get frightened, some people die we get inspired and I think I was inspired by Bob. Yes. By his whole life and the way that he passed on at his top. Yeah. yeah. So I, I was inspired by his death, mm -hmm. by the way he did his job. So yes. I like him. Yeah, all I'd say is uh, rest in peace, Mona right. Kihara. Mm -hmm. He actually took a Kenya name. It was the called Kihara. Kihara. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was called Bob <laughs> Kihara Kolimo. Yeah. Love so, it. So yeah, rest in power, Bob Kihara Kolimo. Yes, definitely. Yeah. All right. So you guys, it is time to vote for this topic. I think we are all on the same page, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. we have to vote. So yes. is it trendworthy or trashworthy? My thing decided to fall, but I won't pick it up. <laughs> all right. It's been to Bob. <laughs> Okay, one, two, three, trendworthy, trend definitely. Yeah. Yes. We agree. Yes. So, yes. where are we going next? Who is so, next? our next trending topic is still on Safaricom. Mm -hmm. So, this actually mm -hmm. happened last week. <laughs> uh, what happened is there was a technical fault in the Safaricom's billing system. Oh, I love this. And what happened is people, w people were able to get lots of data, mm -hmm. lots of SMSs, and lots of calls. Sure. In fact, people had millions mm -hmm. of minutes <laughs> just calling everyone. Mm -hmm. So, the issue was that people were buying data bundles, and Safaricom had to 
take back the bundles. Mm -hmm. So everyone was so excited. They woke up in the morning. They had loads of bundles. In fact, I actually have some figures here. Okay. One person had 25,600 MB right. on their, this is their data bundle. On WhatsApp, they had 5,267,456 MB. Those are numbers we cannot even contemplate. <laughs> so there's a tweet here by Julius Churchill, and he said, Af me after checking my Safaricom bundles. Yeah. And it's a picture, and it says, ah, I cannot believe my eyes. <laughs> it's actually very funny. What do you guys think about this situation? Did you try and get these bundles as well? Okay. Okay, so my um, my tweet of the week um, for this moment is actually yeah. my sentiment. Yeah. And it's actually by, um, I, f I can't pronounce his name, so I'm not going to attempt. Uh -huh. But yeah. he literally has a crying face emoji <laughs> because he woke up too late. And I'm one of those Kenyans who are wondering, why was I not awake? Oh, I need those bundles. <laughs> See, the unfortunate thing about the situation is even though all these people got these bundles, mm. at the end of the day, when Safaricom realized what happened, mm. they took back these bundles. In fact, somebody got a message saying yeah. 21,000 Kenyans shillings has been deducted from your m -Pesa for the illegal <laughs> bundles you have stolen. Yeah, so uh, there's a guy who called Safaricom mm. yeah. inquiring yeah. about what would happen. Mm. So Safaricom said uh, if you had received, for example, 5,000 GB, yeah. Yeah. so they would take whatever was left over, then what you had spent mm. would be deducted from your m -Pesa. <gasps> So there's nothing free about uh, that glitch. So the glitch happened, uh. and then everyone was going to pay for whatever they had. Purchased from Safaricom. Illegal purchase. Illegal purchase, yes. My point, I saw, I saw a meme on, on, I think on Facebook, it wasn't yeah. on Twitter, yes. but this guy was relaxing on the beach and saying, now, if you remember that last time we talked about reverse call? Yeah. 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 So yeah. saying that if the Safaricom reverse call them, then yeah. bill will be on those guys. <laughs> <laughs> they are all <laughs> in their beach. It was oh, really funny. Just really to funny. end it as well, because I know time yeah. is, I'm, I'm being told time is yeah. up. Mm. I think for me, it's actually this one by PLO Duke of Pottery Shire. Mm. where he says how the beneficiaries of the bundles and airtime heights are reacting right now and he has just an image of people dancing celebrating and to be honest the whole of Thursday the whole of Friday last week that is what Kenyans were doing Everyone they were so dancing and happy. laughing their heads off. <laughs> this is a fantastic topic for me so I think mm. it is time for us to vote I don't know what you guys think but let's do this this thing is protesting <laughs> against <laughs> Safaricom is this topic trend worthy or is it trash worthy one, one two, two three two. Come on, Tony. Yeah, it was a really funny topic. We're all in agreement today. All right, let's move on swiftly. What is our next trending topic? Our next trending topic happened uh, on Monday. Mm -hmm. So there was this hashtag, mm -hmm. Free Jaguar. Yes. Okay. So for those who don't know, mm -hmm. Jaguar made some controversial statements mm -hmm. uh, on Monday. Mm -hmm. He was addressing a crowd in Kamkunji. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he was complaining that uh, our markets mm -hmm. have been infiltrated by foreigners. The yeah. Kombas and like yes. Kombas and yeah. Kamkunji market. Mm -hmm. So those tolls, uh, foreigners are infiltrating mm -hmm. and there's unfair business competition. Mm -hmm. So in his address, mm -hmm. he gave the government 24 hours mm -hmm. to evict the foreigners, mm -hmm. failure to which he would get some jamas from the hood, yeah. go into those specific shops wow. and uh, throw the guys out. And he, he actually said mm -hmm. he would beat those people if and throw the them out. Didn't take yeah, if the government so failed to, uh, uh, to evict them evict. within 24 hours, he would, he would, go, them, he would go there, evict them, and <sighs> take them to the airport. And the job of uh, Matiani <laughs> and the Ministry of Immigration <laughs> would be to take them from the airport and take them back to their country. Oh. <laughs> I, I <laughs> enjoyed this whole jungle from the way he was arrested with a South African, South Sudanese yeah. number plate. That guy with a South Sudanese number plate. Yes. Yes. To him, you know, he has a song called Kyo. Mm -hmm. And he's actually <laughs> going to prison. <laughs> so I think he's lived up to his dream and he's enjoying it. <laughs> so Plus, but I commend Jaguar. If you ask me, I would commend him. Jaguar is kind of disruptive. He's yeah. kind of saying what most of us do not want to say life and i think it was because most of if you ask those guys that work in gikomba in kamukunji and all those places they'll tell you that kind of thing and being a leader and being a democratic democratically elected leader yes. you represent the views of your yeah. people i think so he they want to uh, that is whole the whole of people yeah. that, i mean the whole of traders in uh, gikomba arrested actually that's that his is, constituency yeah. actually mm -hmm. he had something good to say but i think it's the way he said it yeah. that was the issue as we were discussing he said that he was in front of a big crowd so people were hyping him up say this say mm -hmm. that but the way he said it wasn't good the message he was trying to get across 
was good at the end of the day it but the way he said it in whose terms and yeah and the way i just think the way he said it and mm. the things he was saying that we're going to come and beat you up mm. and you have 24 hours giving the government ultimatum yeah. wasn't good so i'll actually read a tweet at this point yeah. this is by brad fighter one and mm. he said i'm not for the xenophobic comments especially between africans mm. but we surely need to revisit a lot a lot of things mm. we cannot import everything from music mm. to hawkers to thieves we don't stand a chance in their countries, but we still let them continue humiliating us. Free Jaguar. You remember they, they, they also burnt our chicken. We yeah, haven't burnt any, any of their clothes. They burnt our chicken, they auctioned exactly. our cows, and they've, they've been addressing us one, in one and of actually, two ways. Uh, yeah. to, build up on, to build up on that point, mm. Professor Edward Kisiangani tweeted, mm -hmm. just in case some people have short memory, mm. Tanzania auctioned our cows mm. and set ablaze our chicken mm. on its market yeah. on orders from President Magufuli. Exactly. Mm. Kenyans suffer daily in, in Tanzania, mm. yet Tanzania never punishes its citizens who treat us badly. So what is the matter with this Jaguar story? Okay, the one thing I will say is that I fully agree with Horio in the sense that, you know what, Semitism is semitism. Like yeah. xenophobia is xenophobia. And I feel like if we're not careful, we might actually get to the point where South Africa is. Yeah. Where um, all expats are being looked at as a threat. Yeah. And I feel like we're fostering an, a place where Kenya is supposed to be an East African hub. Yeah. By all means, I am definitely not for Chinese selling maize in Gikomba, <laughs> yeah. selling things, butter trade and things like that. Yeah. But to our own East African brothers, yeah. exactly. I feel like it's a line together. that we need to draw. I agree with that. Let, me say, that. let me say this before we continue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see, Jaguar, when he was coming up, he was a, a Juwakali guy, yeah. mm. even has a garage. Yes. And all. So I would say Jaguar has skin in the game. Mm. He's a low, he's a low level trader. Yeah. Mm. So he feels how other people feel in those Kamukunji and uh, Gikomba. Yeah. Mm. So when he expresses his sentiments, mm. he's speaking as a guy who's directly affected mm. by this infiltration of uh, foreigners. Yeah. So I feel like he would actually, whatever he's exp expressing, is what the man on the ground would say. Yeah. But now, since he's a leader, he should have framed it in a better way. Yeah, he should have talked yeah. before yes. he spoke. Exactly. I, think, I agree with yeah. that 100%, but time is up for okay. you, Chris M. That was a very good trending topic. Mm -hmm. So what is time for us to vote? Do you guys think that this is trend-worthy or trash-worthy? Everybody ready? One, two, three. Oh. Yes. Okay, so I think it's stressful. Why is it used why in your Okay, opinion? to be honest though, I feel like the law is doing what the law does. Yeah. The law is supposed to arrest people who have anything in form of hate speech or anything that offends people. So I feel like the matter is in court. I feel like it should go through the court process and people are saying free him, free him, free him. Yeah. He, he actually committed a crime to an he extent. Did commit a crime. So he I did, think you know what, let the law do what it is. Ooh. So I'd say unfortunately, sorry. All right, so let's move on it's to the next and our final angry. trending topic of the week. Okay, my our final Topic of the week. I feel now I'm feeling emotional because. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, it is also connected to Jaguar story and Tanzanians' relations. Yes. It's on hashtag Harambe Stars. Yeah. So these are calling. I mean, with regard to the ongoing African Cup of Nations tournament mm -hmm. in Egypt, yes. where Harambe Stars was in the same group with Tanzania, Senegal, and Algeria. Yes. yes. So when this whole Jaguar issue was happening. It was like a build-up, a political build-up to the match, and we <laughs> took it to the uh, <laughs> place. So Kenya was playing Tanzania last week on Thursday. Yes. We yes. beat them 3-2. It was actually a comeback. Yeah. Beautiful so they beat us first, Beautiful. We equalized, they beat us again, then we beat us second. So congratulations to Kenya. We've yeah, been eliminated so by now. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. Now the guys, but our boys are coming. But, but I feel tried. like we, we've won our, our East African thing. Yeah. So Hasn't it been 15 years since we were actually at... Uh, has yeah. actually been 15 years since yeah. we... So our last qualification. We, we, we last uh, featured in the So things. congratulations. Yeah, so the congratulations to Kenya. But uh, what Kenyans do and what we are known for, we didn't we didn't disappoint with this, especially with the game against Senegal, mm -hmm. because it was the same day that uh, Bob Colmo passed. Oh. So guys were already creating excuses because Senegal is a strong team. They were already creating excuses and saying, Ah, Senegal, wakituchapa leo itakuwa tu ju tu kona matanga. Otherwise, we could have beaten them. <laughs> so guys are already saying, oh, I didn't know that we are morning Bob call him. Yes. You guys could have beaten yeah. 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 Uh, trust that was that. the narrow finance who tweeted that. Yeah. Yeah. Then there was another one by 
maniac. Mm -hmm. He said, after all, they can defeat us in corruption. Hashtag Kens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 wow, Kens is doing what Kens do best. I don't even know how I feel about that corruption one, but what I will say is that um, Third Eye said back in the days there was a certain juju man mm -hmm. who was shirtless bringing Kenyan flag on his body yeah. and carried a pot walking around the goalposts in every match we played. And the guy. results were always positive. Mm. Does anyone still have his contact? Because <laughs> really people saying, like, you know, that's why we lost the Senate. Believe much, he was uh, not there. I just, yeah, I just like to say, okay, that is quite funny. Mm -hmm. It's a picture of two guys that have been thoroughly beaten, yeah, faces are solid, and one of them has a Kenyan flag, and another one is a Tanzanian, Tanzanian flag. flag. <laughs> They're quite funny if you look at it. <laughs> so, another tweet by M10 is called Bashi254. It uh -huh. says, after all. Senegal can't beat our rugby team. Exactly. So, yeah, yes. yes. so, <laughs> so you beat us on the field in football, mm. we beat you in rugby. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Okay, we'd just like to congratulate the Kenyan rugby team. Mm -hmm. They did a very, very good job. Oh. And I think at this point, it is time for us did to Did you say rugby team? I, I said football team. Harambe. <laughs> Harambe, Harambe stars. Harambe, stars. <laughs> Hunger, yeah. Harambe stars. And our next goal is actually to go to the World Cup, right? Mm. It's possible. Yeah, it's, it's possible. possible. It's possible. Yeah, we'll see what happens. But okay, it is time see. for us to vote on this. So, is it trendworthy or trashworthy? Everyone have your paddles. Out and, and ready. Vote. One, two, three. Yeah, trendworthy. Yeah. Fantastic, you guys. Everything has been trendworthy except the free jungle one. Congratulations, Dad. Congratulations, yeah. So, everyone, congr yeah, we did a good job with all the hashtags. So, we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to go on to our second segment where we'll be looking at things that they didn't teach us in school and our golden moments of the week. Stay tuned. And welcome back. And in this new segment, we'll be talking about all the things they never taught us in school. Yes. And in this episode, we'll be talking about hashtag vibing. Mm. Yes. And this whole month is a month of relationships. Uh -huh. But just to break it down, when we talk about vibing, mm. in this section, we're going to be talking about three major things. So the first one is the approach or the hunt, as mm. the guys would probably refer to it. <laughs> the second one is communication whether that is in person, physically, or virtually in our day and age. And third, but not least, if you are successful in all the above, then the dreaded or ever-loved first date. <laughs> yes. So, let's go straight in. But before we do that, why is this a problem? Why is it? Why are we talking about it? Why did they never teach us in school? Okay, so one thing they never taught us in school was relationships. Mm -hmm. You kind of just have to figure it out mm -hmm. on your own. Yeah. So many people lose out on simple love because they don't realize that there's so much to learn about falling into love, mm -hmm. maintaining love, flourishing love, dating, and romantic relationships. <laughs> <laughs> especially the men nowadays, there is a lack of knowledge today, yes. especially with things <coughs> happening virtually. Mm. Back in the day, you were able to talk to somebody face to face, send them letters. But nowadays, with virtual relationships, yeah. it's gotten a bit harder. So yeah. people have to relearn. So this is why we decided to focus on this topic and talk about the things they didn't teach us in school and find a way to help you and help ourselves understand yeah. it more. We are not experts in this, by the way. We are just people trying to figure it out and help you guys figure it out as well. One okay. thing I know we haven't been taught is how to do the first hunt, like we said. You know, like, <laughs> hunt for guns is okay. literally hunting. We call it hunting because the camera... I don't know how I feel about that word, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> One, we don't know where to start. You know, we were not told where to find a good girl. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sometimes you go to church, you find beautiful women, you don't know whether this is the right place. You go to the club, you also find them, you don't know where to hunt. So guys, where would be the ideal place to meet someone? So in fact, we were told not to find somebody from the club. That's what I was taught. Because don't find a man at the club, maybe find a man from church. Just what? because somebody who's in the club probably doesn't have the same morals and standards <laughs> as somebody at church. <laughs> that's possible. So yeah, that's what I was taught to not find someone from the club. But things have changed in this day and age. I don't know. where. Would you find where would where's your ideal no. place to find someone? My ideal place to find someone is within my vicinity where okay. I live, yeah. where yeah. I work. Because <laughs> where I work, I, I see this person every day, we interact. Mm -hmm. At least I get to see her personality, she gets yeah. to see mine. Mm -hmm. So even when I'm approaching her, it's easier for me. That's but true. unfortunately for us nowadays, most of us tend to leave what's right before our eyes mm -hmm. yeah. and go for the unknown. We go mm -hmm. virtual. Yeah. So we, we think that virtual is easier mm -hmm. for some for some reason because it's just me you can on be my fake. keyboard. Yeah. Okay, you can't be fair, <laughs> but then it's safer for you. That's it's true. safer for us. I think yeah. even even when it comes to rejection, 
it's safer if you told no on an SMS hey. than when you're in, pers- <laughs> in person. Than in person. That's it. That's that's how I feel. Okay, yeah. so let me ask you guys this question. Yeah. So we talked about like the approach, the heart. How would you guys actually initiate that conversation? Because I feel like that's the most awkward thing or confusing <laughs> thing. Like, how would you guys initiate that conversation? Or flip side, how would you not want that inf- that approach to happen? Like, how is it like the please do not do this at all? I think for women, it's like pickup lines, like cheesy pickup yes. lines. Don't come to me with a cheesy pickup line. So Just pick be yourself. Yeah. Yeah. No pickup lines. Take those notes. Yeah. yeah. No <laughs> <pickup lines. laughs> <laughs> just be yourself. Come to me as a human being. Just be nice. Be casual. That's what I personally. And like for people who are thinking, okay, what is a cheesy pickup line? Let me just give you a summary oh rundown. God. Please do not ever say these lines again if you Why? have one. Did it hurt? Why? When you fell from heaven? <laughs> what? Uh, number two. People still do that. Yeah. I know. Number two. Did are you t- are you tired? Because you've been running through my mind all day. <laughs> if your lines are on that on that spectrum, please. <laughs> They're just cringy. Yeah. How would you guys pick up a girl? What's your approach? It depends place that you're meeting okay. yeah. and under what influence you're under. So if it is a club and, you know, I'm <laughs> yeah, I'll come <laughs> direct to you and tell you, man, I like you. <laughs> yeah, but if it is a church, I'll, of course, be your prayer partner. <laughs> you see, what, what I don't get is, there are these girls who will tell you, come direct and tell me what you want. Then you go to uh, that girl and you tell her, and it's like, no, 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 you're too you're forward. Too you're too direct. Remember yeah. the get so used to it. That's, that's why, for me as a guy, I can't win. Because if I go direct, you don't want that. If I beat around the bush, you don't want that. If I, if, if I come with cheesy lines, mm-hmm. you're like, whoa. If I don't come with those cheesy lines, this guy is not fun. So I think at the end of the day, guys, also, so it changes. It depends on the woman and it yeah. also depends on the man. Because uh, maybe I look at you and you're direct, but I like you, so mm-hmm. I allow it. But then somebody who I don't like and I'm not interested in mm-hmm. will be direct but as well. And I'm like, no. If you are hunting, you hunt by all means. Okay. So if I come direct and you say, when we, if you're an, a lion is hunting an antelope and they're <laughs> directly looking at them, do you think the antelope has anything? It's okay. for the lion to take its chances. Go direct. If she scare the antelope away fast, mm-hmm. it's your problem. If okay. you want to go slow, it's your problem. So, me, I use any <laughs> any means possible as long All as right. I Okay, what I will say, just to sum this section up as we move on to the next bit of this vibing mm-hmm. category, yeah. okay. is that number one, I do agree. The girl is different. So, the way you approach a girl depends also on her personality. And yes. I feel like... You cannot do one shape fits all. That's all I'm gonna say about that. But we're moving on. To so the next can I thing. say one more thing on that topic? One thing they never taught us in school was that women can also approach men. That yes. is the issue that we've been having lately. It's always men approaching women, but in this day and age, there are even applications such as Bumble, which is like Tinder, it's a dating app, where women can go and approach men. So the woman will like the man, the man will like the women. And it's a, it's for the woman to actually send the first message. So nowadays, one thing they never taught us is that it's okay for girls to go out and find that guy that you want. Okay, I can't before wait for you. you start, before you start fighting, <laughs> I can see this. I disagree. I think okay. we should. This is actually the perfect segue to our <laughs> next part. So, our next part is about communication, okay. whether it is in person, <laughs> physically, or virtually. Okay. And I think this is the perfect way to move into it. So, we've talked about Bumble, yeah. but before we go directly into communication, mm. you guys were looking like. Like I said, like she said something like that was horrid. Okay, what are your sentiments about a girl approaching a guy? I I I I believe hunting a lion. Why? (laughs) Exactly. What? When when God created the lion, and then He created (laughs) the the jungle. No, (laughs) you see, it's a jungle up there. Both for the animal kingdom and for us. When God created the lion, Mm. and He created the gazelle, (laughs) the the gazelle was told that. The gazelle was told run. Then the lion was told, if you want to cut the gazelle, <laughs> chase it. Chase it. A man is not supposed to be chased by a woman. This is what I believe. Yes. Those roles should not be reversed. <laughs> Let me come to you. And then the thrill of the hand mm. is what excites a man. It's what puts flavor in the relationship. That's what I believe. But what if you take too long and yes. I like you and you're not understanding that and I like you, but I you shy. Like me too. Just throw hints, throw hints. Throw hints. But yeah. how many hints can I send you? A exactly. Million. No. So have you ever seen an antelope? Fighting with a lion. <laughs> hi, hi. Hi, hi. I'm ready. No. Okay, no. so let me bring it run. back. Let me bring it back. So we're talking about the things that we were never taught in school. Yes. But to be honest, yes. I was never taught, for instance, how to accept these approaches of a guy. But yeah. I was always told these really things, silly things that I don't actually think they work. Mm. Number one, if a guy is talking to you, you kind of flip your hair, mm. drop these hints, you giggle at all these jokes, you laugh at all. Do those actually work? Mm. Because we're talking about how you guys are saying the gazelle, the lion, which mm. I really disagree because I feel like 
like we're in the 21st century. I know, right? A girl can do it as well. But do these hints mm-hmm. actually work? If a girl is like, hi, David. Oh, you say, so, you know, you look like a lion. So I understand. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the meme and stuff. I don't know how I feel about that. So what do you think? Are a lion. Yeah. I, okay. So, some women, they, they prefer to go for the guy, right? Mm-hmm. And if you, if you want to do that and the guy accepts, yeah, mm-hmm. more power to you. Mm-hmm. But with respect to me, mm-hmm. I would rather you throw the hints, I pick up on them. If not, too bad. Okay, exactly. what hint would you pick up on? What is a hint? Because like we're also in this segment supposed to be giving people mm-hmm. advice as well, not just having a generic okay. conversation. Tell what, is, what is a hint that a guy <laughs> would pick up on? Because I know girls are always asking, okay, I was there. I smiled. It's like I he didn't. My hair. You know, it's like he didn't I notice me. I'm I was a... giggling at all his jokes, exactly. and then he doesn't understand. So, like, what are these hints that you guys say you will always pick up on? <laughs> <laughs> For me, I have a personal testimony. Okay. It used, to, it used to happen in church. So this girl used to, when we're praying or we're standing to go do the, the offering, she would always look at me like this. So I would notice then realize probably she wasn't looking at me. And I noticed it was being consistent. Yeah. That is when I took my, my, my first shot. And it worked. So okay. consistency, yeah, okay, consistency. that's one. If she's consistently look looking at you, start picking issues as she could be. Okay. Yeah, and if she's always, mm. she always wants to be around you. Mm. Mm-hmm. She wants to do things with you. What are you saying? No, I'm saying no. there's the activities we do. For, <laughs> for example, in this, I put, I'm putting a caveat. Yeah. She, this should not be taken uh, literally, but let's say in the office here. For example, yeah. I'm given a task, and then uh, Horio here always wants to. Come, she always wants to come around, mm-hmm. help me with that task, yes. even when she doesn't have to. Mm-hmm. So when that happens over and over, I'm like, okay, yeah. is she helping because she wants to help? Yeah. Am I, is there something <laughs> more? But she's not telling me. So it's from there that I, I'll maybe decide. Yeah. Let me try mm-hmm. and see if there's something there. Mm-hmm. You are saying that, and I've seen you on several occasions in the office. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me flip it the other side. So we talked okay. about that in our generation. Mm. One of the big things that's a common thing mm. is the rise in virtual relationships, mm. or the beginning yes. of relationships yes. starting yes. online. Mm. So where do DMs come into this vibing conversation? Mm. So DMs, back in the day, mm. like when Facebook was first new, mm. DMs were the life. Mm-hmm. You know, you're in school, you're in primary school, and you're in school mm. all the time. So you can't actually go, if you're dating someone, you have to do it through Facebook. You can't go and see them until the weekend. So actually, one of my first relationships started on Facebook. Mm. And um, we were DMing. And the first time we actually met in the mall, <laughs> this was at Junction well, when we used to loiter. It was on Valentine's Day. <laughs> 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 it was on Valentine's Day. <laughs> and we met at the mall, and we haven't seen each other, like, ever. <laughs> Our first date. It's a sad story, but like it never worked out after all of that. <laughs> but we had a wonderful relationship online, and then it came to face to face, and it just wasn't the same. My point is, once you start these conversations, probably online, maybe I meet you one day, whenever yeah. we meet, the, the challenge we face is to sustain a conversation with yeah. someone that you don't True. know personally. Huh. Because at first, there is that excitement, oh, where do you live? But then you find that you're running out of topics. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that is one challenge I find that probably we, we don't know how to have yeah. those conversations, especially when they're virtual, when you don't yeah. have much to do so with that So if you person. could give people advice on that point, mm-hmm. how do you sustain and you know sustain a conversation that you're having online? I would say one thing is, if I ask you a question, ask me a question yeah. back. Yeah. Don't leave me. If I ask you how was your day, you say I was in work and I was tired. Mm-hmm. Don't leave it at that. Ask me, how about you? Just mm-hmm. make it back and forth. Make it easy for me. Yeah, you make it conversational. Yeah. Because yeah. some guys, they make these uh, SMSs, it's like a Q&A. Mm. Mm-hmm. How are you? Fine. 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 Are you tired? Yes. <laughs> Did you eat? No. But also take the hint. It's a one word answer. Take the hint. When you're having virtual relationships, for example, if this person is only giving you answers, yeah. one word like answers. One word answers. Yeah. K. You, you write a paragraph, K. L-A-O. K-L-O-L. 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 If that's what, if those are the answers that you're getting, mm-hmm. bro. Or if it's Text only off, GIFs, yeah. if it's only GIFs, like mm. literally, if, if or you only get emojis or just back, but they take the hint. Yeah. Yeah. Conversation is over. <laughs> All right. Nice. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching KOT. Mm-hmm. That was the golden moments of the week. And we will see you next week. Remember to join us on Twitter. Mm. We are going to have a poll where you guys will be able to vote on our trending topics. Mm. Remember the trending topics were Bob Collymore. Safari Com Bundles, Free Jaguar, and Harambe Stars. Let us know what you think on Twitter and in the comments below. We will see you next week. Thank you for watching KOT. Bye. Bye.